Okay, so let's talk about how we're gonna hash it out and how we have everything set up. Uh, right now, if you come in here, Ted, we are gonna just use our Denon MC6000 controller to run the sound through. Um, and we're just running Serato. Uh, we're gonna be using pink noise through a real-time audio analyzer. So I have a PAA3 RTAA uh, set up on a mic stand that we're going to not only be able to get the SPL, but we're also going to be measuring the frequency response. Uh, the unit does have some features in there where we can check the actual decibel at each frequency response. So we'll be able to compare the two speakers at different distances. So the way we have this set up today, we have the speakers in the front of the room. And come on, come on with me. What we did is set up our real-time audio analyzer at 25 feet. So we have a mark on the floor at 25 feet, and we also have it, uh, the actual mic picking up at what I like to call kind of like an average audible listening area. I'm about five foot eight, not very tall. Um, you know, so somewhere between five, eight to six foot two or so. I don't know what the average height is, but we, we just, this is where we, we're gonna go ahead and go at five foot eight as far as where we're gonna put this, uh, this pickup microphone at. So again, 25 feet straight ahead. Nextly, what we did is we looked at the dispersion pattern of each speaker, being that the RCF has a 90 by 60, cut that in half, it's 45 degrees. So we, at 45 degrees off axis, we made a mark on the floor 25 feet away. So we're gonna see how this speaker performs 25 feet straight and 25 feet on the extreme of its horizontal uh, coverage pattern. We did the same thing for the bass boss. Now the bass boss has a little extra uh, coverage pattern with 120 degrees horizontal dispersion. So we had to go 60 degrees out on this one. So we have a mark 60 degrees out on the floor, uh, right, right off axis of the bass boss speaker. So we're gonna not only see how it performs straight on, we're gonna see how it performs off axis. We're gonna take both measurements and we're gonna compare the two and see, kind of test the speakers against themselves. See if the uh, advertised coverage pattern, uh, you know, how it performs at its advertised coverage pattern. So we'll take a look at that here in just a few moments. All right, it's my first review, so I forgot to do something. I forgot to uh, tell you about one other measurement that we're gonna be doing. Uh, what we did is put a mark in the center of the floor 75 feet away um, from the speakers, and we're also gonna see how uh, they compare in a long throw situation. Uh, this room is pretty large, I wanna say about 120, 130 deep by about 60 to 80 feet wide or so. So it is a big room. We're gonna see how these speakers fill the room. 